Hey everybody, so this week a case of bubonic plague has been identified in the Chinese region of Inner Mongolia. From the very first case of COVID-19 to a new type of swine flu and now the bubonic plague, one of the deadliest diseases in human history has been reported in China. So bubonic plague is an infectious disease caused by zoonotic bacteria. It's believed a herdsman in Inner Mongolia has been infected with bubonic plague after reportedly eating a marmot, leading to a local ban on hunting, eating and transporting any potentially infected animals. 34 people being quarantined in the whole region is under level 3 plague alert. Authorities in China are on alert following a case of bubonic plague. Three devastating bubonic plagues were recorded in the 6th, 14th and 19th centuries, with the worst in the mid-14th century killing 60% of European citizens and over 50 million people worldwide. The WHO has said that bubonic plague is fatal in about 30 to 60 percent of cases unless treated within the first 24 hours of infection. The good news is the plague can be easily treated nowadays using antibiotics, which were introduced in the 1940s. The bad news is it's not certain for how much longer these will be effective because of antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is when bacteria that cause infections become resistant to antibiotic drugs, threatening us with the return of early 20th century healthcare, where infections that we currently view as being trivial become deadly. The World Health Organization is calling antibiotic resistance a global crisis, and England's chief medical officer said it was the greatest threat to our civilization. Globally, we're seeing a dramatic rise of multi-drug resistant infections, these superbugs everywhere, resistant to standard and even last ditch antimicrobials. A report published in 2016 shows that roughly one in three antibiotics prescribed to humans by a healthcare system are unnecessary. And this has become even worse with COVID-19. According to expert Donna Sivert, since the emergence of COVID-19, data shows an increase in antibiotic use. An estimated 70% of patients admitted to hospital received antibiotics, despite less than 10% of patients having a bacterial infection. But what's far more concerning is that human prescriptions account for 20% of the antibiotics produced in the world. The remaining 80% go to farmed animals. Without antibiotics, the majority of animals that are farmed for meat and dairy would be unable to survive the harsh conditions in which they're kept for long enough to be profitable. 95% of UK meat produce comes from factory farms, 99% in the US. Antibiotic abuse is the cornerstone of our food system, and the irony is the ultimate victim of antibiotic resistance will be us, humans. Our treatment of animals and our destruction of the habitats all around the world also explains the increasing number of infectious disease outbreaks in recent years, including SARS, avian influenza, MERS, Ebola, swine flu, and finally, COVID-19, which turned into a major pandemic. Each of these outbreaks came from animals, whether in factory farms or meat markets. The latest case of bubonic plague is a reminder that diseases of the past are still a threat. We have the tools to fight them off, but for how much longer will this be the case? Unless we fundamentally reform our food system and reduce our dependency on intensive animal farming methods, we face a grim reality of rising antibiotic resistance and pandemic risk.